amazing coffee. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to be talking about conjunctions today. And the conjunction that we're going to be talking about as soon as I find out exactly which conjunction I was supposed to talk about because I have this issue with so many planets now conjunct. I have no idea which one am I supposed to be doing. Okay, so we need to be doing Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn and Ketu conjunction. So Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn and Ketu. And what happens when these six planets are conjunct in your horoscope? And as always, if you do not know, if you have this conjunction, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, all the other astrological details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report on astrologycares.com under shop section. And link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where I teach everything 0 to 100 of astrology in the quickest time. So, um, this conjunction is... Very, very confusing conjunction, not for an astrologer, but for the native. So this particular conjunction um, always tends to bring some psychological issues with a person. And the type of psychological issue that a person has is definitely has to do with their anger. Anger, rejection of society, rejection of uh, social, uh, uh, you know, inter uh, interaction rejection of self-worth and what happens when these things when a person feels rejected from these things it means they feel like they have rejected from everything else and there's no use and either person tends to wanting to escape in whichever they want want or a person may want to help other people escape okay and usually such people can be like geniuses they can be geniuses they can be math scientist um, but the thing is when Ketu the scissor Mars the knife okay and on top of that you get Saturn the planet that kind of is a male delivery guy that brings in all your karmas. Um, it can be quite a tumultuous thing to deal with in life. And one thing I've always seen with such people, it usually starts out with an anxiety, panic attacks. You know, um, they have issues with the nervous system. And most definitely, one of the things that we see with this conjunction is a person may not be able to find that happy married life that they want. There's always going to be some karma. I don't care how great your planets are in Navamsha. I don't care how great your planets are in Sastiyamsha. Birth chart holds a certain physical element to us. You know, I don't care if your body from outside is not great. You have skin problems. You have some deformity. You can have a heart of the gold. You can have mind of an Einstein. However, it doesn't change the fact that these things are present with your particular karma in this life. So knowing these facts, we see that no matter how great Venus is or Jupiter is in the Navamsha or the Sastiyamsha chart of Vedic astrology, a person deals with these issues. Yes, they may have the heart to deal with those issues. They may have the intelligence to deal with these issues, but they do deal with those issues. Whether they resolve it somehow, some way, it's a constant battle. Because the thing is, one of the things I've seen with this, especially in case of men, rejection through the opposite sex why then you must be thinking why why am i suffering like this well the only person that can answer this is you is your soul which is like right there on it's in the back of your eyes right there so if you take your middle of the forehead and the top of your head and the point that it meets that's 
where your soul is. That's where the Shishanna is. And it's your soul that will tell you, look, in past life, you raped someone. In past life, you killed women. In past life, you did this or that. In past life, you ran, you ran away with your on your husband and you went with his enemy, which was not right to do. So you just have to pay that karma off here. And you keep recycling this for eons. And what's the way to get rid of it? Well, you got to be able to find illumination within you. Because obviously as a human birth is a very much a privilege to be born as a human. And to be born as a human is not just so you can drink, smoke and have fun as I do. But you need to have some form of uh, principle towards understanding yourself. Because there's a reason why you're born on this planet in this condition where we try to look for alien planets and how advanced they are. Yeah, they're advanced because they were here at one point on this planet and they found their enlightenment and they went to a higher place. That's what it is. We will never find it just by taking a ship somewhere. It's going to have to be paid through certain principles and karma. And so once you understand this, you understand why you have this conjunction. You understand why you deal with so much, you know, anguish, pain, issue and um you know, rejection in, in life. But usually what also I have seen with Moon, Saturn, Mars conjunction and Venus, person can become greatly wealthy. This is a wealth giving conjunction because if you watched my last video of Hard Up Nakshatras, Moon represents the actual wealth, the hoarded wealth. Mars represents the status. Mars represents your place in society. Saturn represents your ability to make contracts happen. So no matter if your personal life is shit, in professional life, you can succeed. You have the capacity to succeed. I've seen so many people who have a great financial life. But yes, they deal with nervous system issues. They deal with depression. They deal with marriage issues. So all the issues are there. It's just that how you look at life. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of this conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these conjunctions and check out the links here so you can get the report, consultation, my books, and also I'm working on my new book, Nakshatras at the Speed of Light, which should be done by end of this year because I'm going to bring you some crazy stuff with Nakshatras. So anyway, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.